Hello, dear students. In this video, we will see that what happens when an object is placed in front of a concave mirror at infinity. We will learn how the image formation happens for an object which is placed at infinity with respect to a concave mirror. So let's start. Kids, whenever we are drawing a ray diagram, we will be drawing two incident rays and we will be seeing that how are they getting reflected from a concave mirror. We will see and judge where exactly are the reflecting rays of light meeting and that point of intersection of the reflecting rays of light will be the point at which the image is going to form. Let's start. So suppose if the object is at infinity with respect to this concave mirror. So what is the object position? The object position is at infinity. Now, if the object is at infinity, the rays of light which will be coming and striking a concave mirror will be the parallel beam of light. So I have taken this one of the incident ray and I have taken another incident ray which is coming parallel to the principal axis. So this is the first incident ray and this is the second incident ray. Make sure that you are marking the arrows for the incident rays. These are the point of incidence for the both rays. Now the rays will get reflected and we know that a ray which is coming parallel to principal axis and it's striking a concave mirror after reflection it passes from focus. So this is the first reflected ray and this is how the second reflected ray is going to be. You can see that both the reflected rays of light, this one as well as this one, they both are meeting, they both are intersecting at this point. So this is the point at which the image of that object which was placed at infinity is formed. If the image is formed at this point, what is the location of that image? What is the position at which the image is formed? The image is formed at focus. You can see that dono reflected rays are in focus. That is why the image is made in focus. So in image properties, mein, when we are writing image position, it will be at focus. Now, if I talk about the nature of the image, how is the image? The reflected rays of light are really meeting at focus and thus the image which is formed at focus is nothing but real and inverted. Orientation of the image will be inverted. Remember kids, whenever a real image is formed, it is always inverted in orientation. Now talking about the size of the image, image ki size kaisi hai, to aap dekh sakte hai that the image is point size. It is highly diminished. Highly diminished matlab bohut choti si image bani hai. To maan lije hum object ko as a sun treat kar rahe the, which was kept at infinity with respect to this concave mirror. तो उस बड़े से सन की एक छोटी सी पॉइंट साइज इमेज हमें कहां मिली है फोकस पे मिली है इसलिए साइज में वी विल राइट हाईली डिमिनिश्ड और यू कैन आल्सो राइट पॉइंट साइज्ड so we have seen the very first case where the object is placed at infinity with respect to a concave mirror and the image is formed at focus it is real and inverted and highly diminished now kids what is the purpose of having this case what is the use of concave mirror in which we can keep the object at infinity and can focus the reflected rays of light at focus so the use is in a solar cooker a solar cooker a concave reflector ka use karta hai yahan par aap ek solar cooker ki image dekh pa rahe hain this is a concave reflector And the cooker is placed at the focus of this concave reflector. Cooker ko is tarike se place karte hain ki wo focus par, is concave mirror ke focus par lai kare. 
Now, what happens when the parallel rays of light ray come and strike a concave reflector? जब सन से light आती है और concave reflector पर टकराती है, तो reflect होने के बाद आप देख सकते हैं कि सारी की सारी reflected rays one, two, three, four and five, all the five reflected rays are meeting at a point. Meeting at focus or on the focal plane, and thus, जब सारी की सारी sunlight एक ही point पर आकर converge हो जाती है, एक ही point पर आकर मिल जाती है, तो उस point पे high amount of heat energy produce होने लग जाती है. और हमें खाना बनाने के लिए क्या चाहिए? To cook the food, we need, we require heat energy, and in this way, we can utilize solar cooker to make food. So a solar cooker makes use of a concave reflector in this case right thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have understood this case